YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, I want to take a minute and do a video to show you my kayak island exploration kit. This little yellow box that sits in the back of my kayak when I go kayaking. This little yellow box has everything that I need to enjoy a day out on the lake exploring islands, fishing, what have you. And I'm just going to go over the contents with you and show you what I keep in the in the box. All it is is a milk crate. And if you go to the right place and ask for a milk crate, the owner of the store is more than likely to let you have one. That's what I did. I just spray painted it yellow. It was regularly black. I painted it yellow to make it a little bit more visible when I'm on the water. And it matches my paddles that I also painted bright yellow. But anyway, I'm going to go through the box and show you what's in there. I'm just going to grab things in random order and we'll do it that way. On the top, I have my lucky fishing hat. Rarely will you see me fishing and I'm not wearing this hat. I also have in the back, and it fits perfectly in here, a cutting board. So if I do want to catch fish and clean them there on the spot, I have this cutting board so that I can do so. Also, if I put it on top of the crate, it makes a neat little tabletop. So multi-functional. Cutting board. Also I keep in the carton my Wolfwise camp chair. I did a video a long time ago. You can scroll through and see the review of this camp chair. It's small. It fits in the crate. And uh, it's perfect if I'm going to set up at a shoreline or on an island. Sit on the shore and do some fishing. Or just relaxing. I want to sit around a fire with it. It's a great chair. Also I have in there just a rag. Because when you're fishing you get worm hands and bloody hands from cleaning bait or maybe you're catfishing and you're using a liver for bait. I usually dampen this in the water and keep it damp. And then when I come home every time before I go out again, I wash it. So it's always good to have a, a towel handy. I also have inside there my water shoes. These things I've had for many years. They are just cheap. Uh, Walmart, what are they, Ozark Trail, water shoes, they dry quickly, they drain water, perfect kayak shoes. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on water shoes. They're comfortable, they get wet, and no problem. Then also, most of the time, not always, but a lot of times I'll carry this. It's similar to an Eno hammock that I just did a video on. You can scroll through and check out my Eno Double Nest Hammock review. But this one is called Light Ahead. It's, I've got it in the knapsack backwards. But it's similar to an Emo, just much cheaper and not nearly as good quality. But for hanging out for a couple of hours on an island or whatever during the day, taking a little break it's fine and in there I have the tree straps as well as the hammock I think it was $16.99 at walmart.com not the quality of the Eno but for this purpose it works then I have in there a little cricket jar if I'm gonna fish with crickets I'll put my crickets in there if I'm fishing with worms I got my little worm container. I told you that I made this out of a uh, Bojangles fixing container. And uh, yeah, so if I'm going fishing with worms, I'll put them in there. I like then also in here, I have some dude wipes. It's always good to have some dude wipes. And then I have a larger tackle box. This is in addition to the one that I have in my PFD. Uh, it has a little bit more 
uh, stuff in it, some extra line, hooks, sinkers, uh, a flashlight, that sort of thing. I'm not going to go over all the details, but it's still small enough that it fits right down in the bottom of the crate perfectly, as you can see. I'm going to have to take the camera down now and show you the other items a little bit closer. All right, you'll see attached here with zip ties. I have the two post pole things over here for holding the rod and reels. And uh, they just slide in and out. These are golf bag tubes that golf clubs slipped into on my uh, golf bag. But since I don't play golf as much as I fish, I figured it'd be perfect to use to hold my two rod and reels. And then I just have them zip tied in. I have a pair of pliers here. Needle nose pliers for getting hooks out. And uh, it also you can also cut line with that. It's got the wire cutter there. You can cut line. And I just have an old Mtech knife boot knife sheath that I keep that in. I got the these needle nose pliers at Dollar General for two dollars and seventy five cents. So there's no 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 need to go pay a lot for those specialty fishing pliers. A pair of needle nose works fine. Next to it, I have a Mora knife again, just bungeed, and then. If I'm going to fillet a fish, I have this custom knife made by a gentleman called David Manley. He does custom knives. This one was uh, made in 2002, and it's number 2531. Very sharp, nice wooden handle. He makes great knives. Sometimes I like to clean my fish while I am on the island or what have you. But more than likely, I'll bring them home and clean them. Then let me show you up here on the, in the front of the kayak. I just added this little cleat and attached to it with some paracord for when I am in the boat fishing. I have it attached to another pair of the same cheap pliers. I duct taped the paracord to the cleat so that it's always handy and if I should happen to drop them over the side I won't lose them and this is also where I attach my stringer and when I catch the fish I just put them on a stringer throw them over to the side of the boat and let them hang I added that little cleat I added this little taco uh, paddle holder and then I've got the scupper hole plugs, which usually I leave unplugged. But the ones in the back under the crate, I leave plugged so that the water won't come up through there. But yeah, that's uh, a roundabout look at it. Just thought I'd share that with you, my little island exploration kit. And uh, sometimes... I won't actually fish from the kayak. Sometimes I do. Most of the time I do. But if I want to land on the island and go fishing somewhere down the bank, I'll just grab my little box and I'll go. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I appreciate you coming along on Urban Outdoors. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.